What's up guys, back again, and yesterday I was on MISC, it's an online forum, bodybuilding.com, I'm sure many of my subscribers, followers, they, they know me from there. What's up guys? So yesterday there was a thread on zinc, and I know a little bit about zinc, you know it's a mineral, uh, it's very important for the body, bodily functions, normal growth. But I have not supplemented with it for a long time. The last time I did supplement with it was probably two years ago. And it was just, you know, pure zinc, zinc oxide. And it's a very cheap form. It doesn't absorb very well. Right now, like I said before, I'm taking orange triad. And orange triad has some zinc uh, uh, citrate, I believe. But it's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. And I was curious to see with my diet, um, if I'm maybe deficient at all. So, anyways, in this forum about zinc, many of the guys, the miskers, were saying that they noticed great results when they started taking a zinc, good quality zinc supplement. That they noticed that they felt like their testosterone was higher, more of an alpha kind of mindset, uh, waking up, more, better erections, better uh, libido, uh, sex drive, you know more vitality, just, there's like, yeah, combined with cold showers, oh man, you're going to feel like a guy, you're going to be on God mode, anyways, you know, it got me really pumped seeing all these testimonies, all this social proof, so, I did my research before running out of buying some, uh, and first of all, I wanted to look if I was deficient and know the signs, so here's a couple signs that I came across, there's seven, and I want you guys to, you know, take a look at your own life, how your body feels, because we all want to feel great, man, like this bow, ready, pull back, ready to go, so number one was poor neurological function, number two is weak immunity, number three was diarrhea, number four was food allergies, number five was thinning hair, number six was leaky gut, and number seven was acne, Let you guys look at this real quick, Now, there was, like I said, a lot of the testimonials, uh, they were saying, makes your voice deeper, uh, like a sex drive, um, cleared up their acne, cleared up their their haze, that mental fog, gave them a little bit better cognitive function. So I'm like, man, I, I better not be deficient in this stuff. You know, I'm taking turmeric, taking right, reshi mushrooms, taking all that stuff, creatine. I need to make sure I'm not deficient in zinc. So I looked at the benefits, and some of the benefits, here they are, there's, 13, so boosts libido, helps with acne, helps with eczema. 4, helps treat anorexia nervosa. 5, helps with adolescence growth. 6, heals wounds. 7, immune system booster. 8, maintains senses of taste and smell. 9, protects membrane cells against free radicals. 10, helps with macular degeneration. 11, regulates blood glucose. 12. Supports neurological function. 13. Supports normal growth during pregnancy. Uh, it says right here, well, I've got a whole list of some of the zinc-rich foods, and I'll read that to you. So, number one zinc-rich foods is pumpkin seeds. If you guys have these in your diet, you probably, if you're eating pumpkin seeds every day, you probably don't need to supplement with it. Uh, pumpkin seeds, 8.4 milligrams in a half cup. 57% daily value. Number two, grass-fed beef, 5.2 milligrams, 30 brood, and four ounces, 32% value. Lamb, 32% value, uh, value in four ounces. Cashews, 25% daily value, and a half cup. Mushrooms, 13% <clears throat> daily value in one cup cooked. Chicken, 12 ounces, four uh, or, sorry, four ounces, you get 12% of your daily value. Kefir or yogurt, remember kefir is really good yogurt for the Brain Maker video for your gut health, has all those healthy bacteria and enzymes, 10% daily value in one cup. And 13, uh, we have spinach, one cup cooked, 9% daily value. So, if your diet is pretty if you're eating a lot of those foods, you might not need to supplement with it, but if you are experiencing some of these side effects or symptoms of 
a zinc deficiency, maybe you should try it out. I believe the dose is about, you want about 30 milligrams for about a month and see if, you know, if your body changes. So another thing I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, so do your research guys, but white spots under your nails. And I've had these since I was a really young kid. If you search it, it you find like blood trauma, usually to the nail, that, that's what the white spots are from, but in calcium deficiency, which I don't know. So we'll see if they go away. You know, I just got them like on my index finger and a couple on my thumb. Uh, another thing with zinc, if you guys are going to try this, do not take zinc on an empty stomach. All right. It will make you just vomit. It will make you want to curl up in a ball and just stay there, man. It, it is bad. It's harsh on your stomach if you do not take it with food. So take it with food after a meal. Now, I'm going to read you some of the best forms of zinc and then I will leave you guys. Real quick, I took a picture. They're on my phone. Now, this may be placebo, okay? And usually I'm very skeptical when it comes to what the miscasts to say about certain stuff and the results. But yesterday, and it could have been a couple things, yesterday was my first day, second day, taking the zinc. All right, I took 60 milligrams, two capsules the first day, and then I took two yesterday, just in case I was deficient, right? I had such a good day yesterday, and I don't know, I've been running, like I said, that makes me feel tremendous. I've, I've been getting enough sleep, I've been meditating, but there was nothing really new uh, to that day other than taking zinc, and there was just the mental clarity later on in the day, not so much in the morning, but later on in the day, it's like I got into that high state very, very easy. And I'm not saying it was zinc, guys, but I had a great day. So my mind likes to say, yeah, man, it was the zinc. It was the zinc making you feel alpha and like a warrior. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to keep taking it. And here are, here is the list of the best and the worst zinc. So the best zinc that you guys want to look out for is called zinc monomethoinine. So just remember with an M, methoinine, uh, your body easily absorbs this. The next one is zinc picolinate. I'm having a hard time saying picolinate, zinc picolinate. It's a great form. Another one is zinc glucosin, glucone, gluconate. Now, and then zinc citrate. Now, I don't think you guys are going to have trouble. I'm going to recommend you the best brand. The brands you want to watch out for or the, the kinds of zinc is zinc oxide, like I said, zinc aspartate, and zinc pyrethion. So zinc oxide, aspartate, and pyrethion. Now, guys, if you're going to get this, this is cheaper than even the picolinate. I found this in the store, and it has copper, because when you take copper or zinc, your body will tend to flush out copper. So this is zinc monomethoin 9 and it's called Opti Zinc. And this is by Source Naturals. I trust this brand. I like this brand. You might may take their multivitamin called uh, Life Force. Very good, very high quality B12 multivitamin. Uh, and this has 30 milligrams, okay? And 300 MCG of copper. And this is the best kind, like I just read to you. So this was $11 at Vitamin Shop, 120 tablets. 120 day supply, one capsule a day, one tablet a day. It's called Opti Zinc, Zinc Monomethionine Complex. So, guys, do your research. I just wanted to aware you, let you know that zinc could possibly be very rewarding um, and give you, you know, if you're deficient, it can help you out. And a lot of Americans are deficient. So, keep that in mind. Please subscribe, guys. I'll see you soon. Have a nice day.